Alright troops, it's your man Chris Scullion from Tired Old Hack with another first play video. Today we're looking at Heroes of the Monkey Tavern on Nintendo Switch, uh, which I must admit I know very little about. Um, so this is going to be an experience. Sorry I yawned, I'm up quite late tonight. <laughs> Don't let that yawn be a judgement of Heroes of the Monkey Tavern. Oh, okay. Curious. Pro gamer always checks the options, obviously. Oops. So we'll move if you Okay. Looks like it's first person then. Every story has a beginning. Ours begins in a tavern. The Monkey Tavern. Where four heroes, yes, four great heroes, are spending their money. A few days ago they were rich. But it was a few days ago. Now they even have to sell their precious equipment to keep the party going. It's breaks in it. Until there is nothing to sell. And then comes a man who will change the turn of this masquerade. Hey guys! I heard your stories. You seem to be four strong heroes. <laughs> it's the same guy, <laughs> then the voice actor. Because I know a place where you will find tremendous treasures. But I have to warn you, they're all terrible. But our heroes do not bother to talk anymore. They are terrible, is it? They thirst for adventure. My claiming this in. Oh, okay. Right, let's do warrior, barbarian, priest, and elementalist. Can we change elementalist for? Oh, it's still an elementalist. This is just a different picture. Archer. Wonder if this is more suited to touch screen. Right. Oh, so it's an old school kind of late eighties style RPG. Basically, a dungeon crawler then. One well, of those ones where you take a step at a time and then enemies appear. Classic. It 
sick. Okay. It's very, very old school. Obviously not in terms of uh, graphical quality, but in terms of its gameplay mechanics. This is the sort of stuff that was on in kind of NES games and very early computer games of its time. Not entirely sure how to properly fight though, other than just pressing these two buttons. Game saved, that doesn't bode well, I wonder if that means there's a fight coming. Oofed! Hurt! Bold words. This is up to the second floor. It's an interesting one, I mean it's very very old school in its design. But some people some people still love the old games like that, the old very very vintage, there was a uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons one like this in the NES and, and stuff like the Ultima games and Space Hulk on the Amiga and stuff were similar to this. In. So the secret belongs to the stone, so how do I get out of here? There we go! Came. I usually get very lost in games like this, I must admit. Right, down this way. I don't have a very good sense of direction. What's this? Oh yeah. Oh, what is Ah no 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 <laughs> So awkward controls. 
Have some of that snake. I don't want to flee, I'm trying to figure out how to attack it. I'm going to die here. Oh, two of them are dead already. <laughs> dead already. Hmm, okay. I'm also not very good at that. Was there a tutorial there? See, there's not even a tutorial, it's just like deal with it. That's a bit of a shame. Because it's such an old style game. Uh, you got to imagine that not um, everyone is familiar with it these days. I can understand the need for it. Um, oh, God. I can understand how fans of this genre will kind of be into it, but this is this is 2017, do you know what I mean? Like, people have like, this genre doesn't really exist much anymore, so they kind of have to have um things in place for people who aren't familiar with this genre and maybe want to know how to how to do it basically, how to play it. Because it's not immediately accessible without uh, without um, like advice telling you how to do it, you know what I mean? It's procedurally generated then. It would appear. Lion. Oh, maybe not. The lion's still there. This one isn't going to be to everyone's taste, saying that much as a as a given. Oh, I got caught in that this time. An idiot. What an idiot. Oh, I opened the wrong one. <laughs> Whoops. Um, fire. It doesn't work, does it? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, dead again. Well, there we go. <laughs> Heroes of the Monkey Tavern. That's a difficult game. The, the Monkey Tavern element threw me off. I was expecting Monkey Island, probably, uh, because that starts at a uh, tavern. Um, okay. I'm going to have to spend a wee bit more uh, time with that one uh, before I properly get the hang of it, because that's a very, very old game genre it's calling up again. I've not played a game like that in decades. So it's going to take me a wee while to kind of get back into the swing of it. Um, so yeah, that's an, an interesting wee challenge for me to get stuck into before the review. Um, so yeah, cheers for watching guys. Please do YouTube and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I will catch you on the flippy flop very soon with another first play video. Thanks for watching guys. Bye-bye. Yeah, story has a beginning. Ours begins in a tavern.
the Monkey Tavern. Where four heroes, yes, four great heroes, are spending their